up bright and early to go to where? Hanel Mobe! I didn't wake up that early actually. Popper woke up really early and he got everyone breakfast. He's the biggest cutie pie ever to live. You promise? Yeah, you got breakfast for the whole house. You were just gonna get it for me because I was hungry and I was gonna stay back because I'm like, I'm too tired, I'm just gonna rest. But you and deserve then, it, you're pregnant. Fine, and then when you left, I was like, oh, that's so nice, Papa Bear's gonna go get breakfast for me, I better just get up. And I got up and you gave me motivation to get up and come out today because I was just gonna stay at home. You promise? And be a potato. You promise? Yeah. That's so cute, I love it when you go places with me. I know, that's why I got up and not be a potato. Are you gonna go in the water? Yeah, maybe, but I'm, probably, I'm not gonna snorkel because I just can't, my lungs are not that good right now. Did you know that Hanauma Bay or Hanauma Bay is one of my favorite snorkeling places in the whole universe? I did know that. <laughs> How did you know that? Because you like swimming and you like vlogging and you like going into the caves and you like seeing a bunch of fishes. You get distracted by fishes. Yeah, so Hanauma Bay, it's like a huge uh, wildlife marine reserve. So there's a ton of animals and there's a ton of uh, wildlife everywhere and they do such a good job of it. Yeah. And the water is calm and there's a lot of big coral reefs that go like 20, 40, 50. And it's not good. You're not going to get to go inside because they're next in line and we're not going to make it. We are going to make we're it. We're not going to. They're looking we, back. They're right Look, there. They're calling us to go now. Right, we'll go. Let's go. You almost not, didn't make it. Uh -uh. So you're gonna have to wait in that line. No way, again. they're gonna save our spot for us. So thank goodness Nad's got both me and Gio tickets because we got so carried away vlogging that the line moved all the way up and we almost missed our spot. And since this is such a hot spot, the line was really long and we probably would have had to wait another 30 minutes. Thanks, Nadim. No problem. Oh, this is your first time, huh? Yeah. Dude, you gotta go take a look. Did you see the side already? Not yet. It is freaking gorgeous. Watch, follow Gio. Follow Gio, Nats. Oh, we're just gonna look. We're just gonna stand right here. Do you see it? Yeah, it looks nice. Beautiful, huh? So down there is the wildlife preserve. And then it's like calm. And then there's some really deep caves and... Uh, and reefs and stuff Can you swim there. past that? <coughs> I've never swam to the mouth of it because when you swim like halfway, the water gets freezing cold already because oh. it gets really, really deep. It's huge. We've gone as far as like that tip, Bart and I, right? Yeah, we got pretty much up to where that like tip is right point. there. And that's pretty damn far. It's really fucking far. Yeah, I think it took us like 30 minutes to swim there or something. It looks nice. Today's a really nice day. It's not that sunny, and I'm really glad we came early because there's not that many people. Usually it's super packed. Even though right now it looks pretty packed, it gets more packed than this. Yeah, there's times where I'm in the water and I'm just constantly bumping into people until I get really, really deep. And it kind of uh, ruins the experience because you're just trying to see fish, you're not trying to see people's butt cracks. And that's all you see is people's butt cracks. But then today it looks really nice. Yeah, it's very nice. And I'm glad it's not that sunny because you won't be frying too bad if yeah. you're just laying out there. You can go back there. You wanna find a spot over there on yeah. the grass? Yeah. Okay. Unless you wanna be closer, just run back and forth. No, whatever is gonna be more comfy for you because you're gonna be there for a while. Yeah. On the grass? Let me see if there's shade. What about over here on the grass? What do you think? I'll keep looking. Okay. My bear found a really nice spot. Yes. It's a lot of shade here. Yes. Jess is gonna love it. She hates being in the sun. That's true, because she fries like a pancake. <sighs> yeah, so if you look at her, she's head to toe covered. It's pretty funny. Wait, I don't even know if pancakes really fry. That was just <sighs> a thing. Fries like an egg? Is that a thing? <sighs> yeah. Fries like an egg? Yeah, that works. Better than a pancake. Fine. This is fries a kitty like cat. Fries like french fries. That kitty cat. That kitty cat looks like, um, he belongs to someone. Like a pet. Doesn't look like a wild one. Kitty cat. Come here. 
want something to do with this. Damn it. Meow, nope. meow. Nothing at all. You're just going to lay out here? Yeah. Fine. I'm going to go in the water and try to capture the ocean. Okay. So we're surrounded next to these cute little rodents. Look at that guy. They're not that cute. Yeah, they are. What are those Look at their things? Face. Someone left little dog food out. What are those? Is that a little mongoose? I've never seen that before in my life. What are you? There's another one right there. What are you guys? Are you guys little mongooses? Gophers? They make crazy sounds. What are you, buddy? Where are you guys? No, 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 I'm friendly, I'm friendly, no, I'm friendly! Turn around on this side to your left real quick. To your left. To, to my left? left? Holy <laughs> shit. Bring what if these guys, out. these guys aren't scared? Damn, we're getting, don't freaking take dumps on me, okay, please. Okay, now to your right, to your right, to your right, slowly. Oh, cutie. You little cutie. You little cutie. That ugly. Nuh-uh. Even though I still want to cut it, though. Oh man, these guys are cute. They make the craziest noise. They do. Like, oh shit. shit. There's gonna be a pigeon. And weasel fight. There's gonna be a pigeon on weasel fight. Damn. Oh, damn that's it. What's weasel gonna happen? Done. What's gonna happen? Damn, these pigeons don't give a fuck. Is there like gonna be a fight? All of that food, like Is there gonna be a fight? Dude, how you gonna just let them jack your food like that, weasel? Dude, these fools just straight Ooh. game bait. Oh dang. You're a badass. I wanted them to move. I wanted the weasels to eat. Hey, hey, hey. Move, move. Get out of here. Oh, that's it. Get Protect out the here. weasels. Protect the weasels. Protect the weasels. Get out of here. Protect the weasels. Protect the weasels. Weasels, I got your back. Dude, you guys are fucking tough, dude. You don't give a fuck, huh? You guys straight up don't give a fuck. You're just like right here, right in my face. Dude, you guys are. Get out of here. Damn, you're gonna go attack my woman? You guys are fucking crazy. Get oh, out of here. This guy has like a bunch of stuff on his foot. You guys are nuts. Damn, you guys don't give a fuck about anything. Holy shit. You guys are crazy. many fish out here today for some reason we came here uh, bright and early and I was thinking we're probably gonna see a turtle or two but uh, maybe it's too early and uh, I'm just trying to swim around look at fish one interesting thing that I did find there are huge pockets of uh, cold water and then huge pockets of warm water and I'm getting pretty tired so I think I'm gonna head back to shore it is beautiful being out here I don't know where everyone else is I usually like to swim uh, really far to get away from all the other snorkelers. So I might try to uh, catch up with everyone else. But uh, see you guys in a little bit. Sea turtle. I don't know if he was uh, sleeping or hopefully he's not dead, but he was just chilling. It was really cool to see him. Right when I thought that there was nothing else to be seen, that's why I was heading back. I find a sea turtle. That was so fucking awesome. Why are we here, David? To eat food? Perfect. <laughs> no, why this specific place? I'm trying to ruin your vlog. No, you, you, you. Said a specific place. Yeah, so Scratch Kitchen and Bay Shop is uh, 
very, very well known, very high Yelp ratings, but not only that, locals always tell us to come here specifically because they have one thing that's really, really good, which is their cereal pancake. And you'll see like berries on top, um, like granola, like cereal on there, and they put like this condensed milk type of syrup on top. Yeah. And that's what they're really known for. But other than your that- your mouth is watering already. Huh? <laughs> Cause I'm starving, dude. You know, we've been swimming for like an hour and a half. Oh, I'm starving too. Yeah. I'm excited about this place. Other yeah. than that, they have like really good French toast. They have a lot of great like Ooh. breakfast foods there. So Do they got like, cereal French toast? Because you know I love they French have, toast. They have really good French toast. I think it's like on Hawaiian bread too. Ooh. So it's going to be. What should I get? There's the milk and cereal pancakes that David was talking about. Then there's the Elvis French toast. Ooh, peanut butter. Smoked salmon. Nah, I want something uh, sweet. Ooh, I love chilaquiles though. And then they got lunchy. Oh, brekkie and lunchy. Burgers, sides, grits. Ooh, French. I think I'm about to get something on the brekkie side. Are you gonna get breakfast or lunch, Mama? I don't know. Are you in the mood for something sweet or savory? Savory. Savory? You like savory, huh? Yeah, I'm not I like a big. Sweet stuff. I, I don't like sweet, like pastry stuff that much. So I might. I'll share with you. Okay. What are you gonna get, David? You're gonna get that uh, cereal pancake you've been telling me about? No, I already had it. You already had it? I already had it before. So what are you gonna get then? I have no idea. Let <laughs> me <laughs> read the menu, fool. <laughs> They have chilaquiles hey, here. I'm a Chinese fucking Vietnamese later, dude. Yeah, you don't got no time. Hey, what do you want? They have chilaquiles here. You're gonna get that? No. Why? Get it. Because there's no Mexicans on this fucking island. It's gonna be shit. It's the same thing. It's still brown people. Nope. If you get it, I'll eat some of yours. Nope. Damn it. How do you convince? How do you convince your wife to get something else so that you can share it? That is want? the secret to life. Can you pretty please get the chilaquiles? No, 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 no. Damn it, it doesn't work. Any ideas, Mama? I'm trying to, I'm trying to compromise with you and see if I can do the chilaquiles. Does it look good? I haven't it? seen them yet. I don't think anyone orders them. Damn it. I don't even think people know what it is. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Is this it? Oh, it is it. What the hell is that? Not doing it. Yeah, it doesn't look legit. Doesn't this is what it looks like. It does not look it's legit. Not it. Oh. it looks. It looks. Uh, I mean, if they call it something else. It might be bomb, yeah. but it's not. But don't call it chilaquiles. Oh yeah. That is the milk and cereal and pancake. And what is this? It's just the milk? The milk. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh my goodness. I might have to... I usually... Save it for the end? But yeah, I usually oh don't like God. eating sweets in the beginning. I like to save it for the end, but this just looks ridiculous. Oh man. Oh man. That is delicious. Okay. okay, that's enough for now. Like that's enough for now, Mama Potato. Can you cut me a piece and feed me? Oh man, that does look good. Oh, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Oh, man. You do it. That is ridiculous. Me too. Mmm, that is bomb. The crunch is good. Cereal? I get the crunch of the cereal? With the juice of the milk, with the fruit. Do it with the cereal. Thank you for the recommendation, David. This is bomb. Let me try. It's good, right? That's all you, baby. You don't want any more? This is bomb. I'll send them. Yeah, take some. Can I try a piece? Yeah, of course, dude. Don't be feed you. No, okay. <laughs> you gotta get a piece of the. <laughs> want me to feed you? Like, no, make sure you get a piece of the cereal too. It's so bomb. I missed this. I just didn't get it because I already had it. Mm. They're already devouring it. It was less than two seconds ago. That's what's up, right? But it's not overly sweet either. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Damn. Mm. Okay, Is this the uh, steak and eggs? That's a steak and eggs, but that's a uh, medium rare over medium. Yes, that's mine. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I got steak and eggs and what um, Wait for the rest of the 
What made me want to get the steak and eggs is it said it was a beef short rib, and I love beef short rib because it's very juicy. And soft. And soft. And I'm gonna get it with some egg. Oh, and there's a potato underneath there. Oh, you know I love potatoes too. Pineapple alcoholic drink. Ooh, let me see. You want some? Nope. Really okay, I'll try some later. Mm. Yeah, give me some. It's good. Give me some. With the the, the fixing, the fixing is. The fixing? Do you want to get yeah. uh, I don't. I can't get the. I can't get the yolk. I can't do the yolk. Yeah, that's cool. Oh shit, that's up. Can I try it, please? Yep. Mm. How was that? Was it yummy? Oh, it's fucking bomb. It is really bomb. It is really good. Mmm. We are now in the middle of Chinatown in Honolulu. And it's crazy that in every single part of the world, there's always a Chinatown. And they all look. smell and look the, the same. same. Why? Ah, why? Why does it all smell that funky way I don't know and it always looks ghetto and like the presentation crazy. is fucked up look at all this shit it's fucked up everything, at least this looks kind of neat well everything is always in a box they never take it out <laughs> I almost died walking <laughs> through trying to down yeah everything is in a box like get it yourself man yeah I, I think it's just really money. practical I think that's why I think instead of worrying about presentation they worry, worry about function so instead of taking things out of a box and putting it in a nice presentable place, why waste time if you can just help yourself? You know what I mean? I mean, you know your people better than I do, so okay. You look beautiful blowing in the wind like that. Oh, thank you, Papa Bear. <laughs> Are you gonna snap her neck? <laughs> Are we in Hawaii or China? Go. We are in China. Huh? So Italian. this place that we're in, it's literally like a swap meet but for produce and everything can be found here. From veggies behind me to just straight up fish to a butcher shop on that side. This oh, place is poultry. crazy. Or poultry. Oh yeah, and then there's a, a butcher shop over there. Isn't that crazy? This place is literally like a produce and grocery. Me. Remember Look the one this. where we were in? We were in Japan, and it was so pretty. Yeah, and this place looks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tell them how you want it. You just said, chop that shit up, homie. Chop that shit up, you know what I mean? That's what you said. Chop that shit up, homie. You know I don't like it like that. Ooh, look at all this fish. And they got the biggest fish everywhere. I thought I saw you swimming over there. Like the flies flying around too. Flies love it. What's funny about Chinese markets is that they don't really mind if the flies come in. They just don't want the flies on the food. So there's a fly on this fish right now and they don't really care. They just let the fly do its thing. But uh, some people might think that's gross, but I actually think that's actually a good thing because I think people are too over worried about bugs getting in their soup or different flies getting in their food but that just shows there's millions of Chinese people out there with flies on their food and it's perfectly okay it's not a big deal if you get a roach in your pizza it's just part of life and I think that's a clear sign to show that since there's no dying Chinese people that it's a-okay to have bugs in your food so don't but freak out no, no. but Japanese people are known to live longer so I'm gonna follow what they're doing thank you very much Japanese people have eczema and asthma so do you. I don't have eczema. But you have asthma. He's got eczema. Exactly. I have eczema. Fuck. I have to eat more flies. That's the problem. Does he do? I'm having, He's got cancer. I have a bitch ass immunity system because I'm not eating enough flies like the traditional Chinese people. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>
As a matter of fact, we are gonna collab and cook. Nadine is cutting onions. What are you making tonight? I'm making my copycat special garlic vinaigrette. Why is it copycat? Because I mixed it from a few different chefs. So it's not world famous? Not like your steak oh, okay. that you made once. So I'm making a world famous dish. I call it the world famous potatoes. And it's because the person I learned it from, his last name is famous and first name is Worlds. And I put it in here already. I'm just boiling and then I'm gonna <laughs> pan fry them a little bit. What are you doing, David? None of your fucking business in what I'm doing. What? Why are you typing on the steaks then? <laughs> what are you, is that a massage steak? this shit, dude. We're doing steaks. I'm just putting salt and pepper on it. And I heard that everybody likes their steak extra peppery like I do. So I was extra generous with that shit. So that's why it looks like I threw this shit on asphalt. <laughs> Oh shit, that's true. These are my world famous <laughs> ribeye steaks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just salt and yep, the world famous. What are you doing, Jess? I oh. am offering moral support. Thank you, yes. which is much needed. Good job, guys. <laughs> Thank you. And what are you doing, Nancy? I became uh, your garlic slave. So I'm peeling garlic. Sous chef. <laughs> I mean sous chef. That's right. That sounds so much better. Thank you. Well, what are you doing, Joe? I am making a Japanese dish. I don't know the name of it, but it's just raw okra and raw egg and soy sauce. Oh, that and sounds bomb. Yeah, it's it's got kind of a slimy texture, but you could eat it with the rice. That sounds good. So it's just the whole thing's just raw. You just gotta mix it up. Yep. That sounds delicious. Let's check up on the world famous potatoes. Hopefully, it is boiling by now. Oh yeah. Oh shit, that's I'm crazy amount of teeth. Nice. Do we have any more? Food? Look at the dish. Oh shit, let me wipe this clean actually. There you go. Why you look like a big dummy, dude? I'm trying to get zero. Dude, go focus on what you're supposed to make. He says I'm gonna throw it up and eat it. Like a baby bird. What? <laughs> Why are you over here? Because I tried two little blocks of the shoyu poke. And, and how was it? Was it delicious? You guys are. You guys Why take you this shit for granted. Steak? What? Can you cook steak? I have to focus on my world famous potatoes. How does your world famous potatoes? I'll do it. It's gonna be burnt though. No. I'm not gonna cook your steak on the grill. How's Nadim doing? Nadim's good at cooking steak. Good at, I do it on pan all the time, that's why. I'm done for pan. I'm it's a joke, Jess. I don't do a pan. What? Joe. Why? Just what? go out there and grill it. it. Stop being a weasel whacker. What? Why? No one wants to do it? Stop being one of those weasels we saw on the bushes. I don't know the grill, but I'll do it. If no one wants to do it. I need the grill. I know the feeling. So, we're all trying to push the responsibility of who's in charge of grilling David's uh, world famous ribeye. But I'm occupied. I think that Dame just wants to make the vinaigrette. David doesn't have confidence in grilling. Joe knows how to grill, but he doesn't know that grill. How many do you need? You're from Texas. Do you know how to grill? Okay. No. I'm good at eating food. That's okay. it. You lie. You're a Mexican. You know how to grill. No, I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to eat. I don't know how to do any of that well, What are you doing in here then? I'm just keeping you guys company. Thank you. I love support. your company. I love it's your like, company. <laughs> Talking all this shit. Thank you, Jess. You don't even have my back. Oh, why? Like, why am I opening this? What was I going to get out? <laughs> I have no idea. You're just frustrating me I, opening I, the fridge. I think you're just trying to look at Morton. That's why. I'm nervous text. I don't have anything to say. Let me be busy. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Let me tell you what I'm doing right now. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Is this a bunch of trash? Where'd you learn that technique from? I think it's tripping me out. It's everybody knows this technique. If you're a chef, I think you learned it from me. From you? I think you saw me cutting it like real quick one time and you're like, damn, what's that Chinese method? Well, what about this technique? Where's the salt at? What technique? You don't know what I'm talking If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know. You look like an idiot, dude. Hey, who's gonna have the better footage? I am. What are you doing? Are you gonna salt the garlic? Yeah. You are insane. Dude, I'm so glad that you're doing everything I ever taught you. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Thank you. Look at his cute ass hands though. I know. The cutest chef hands in the world. Ladies, if you don't want to date Nadine just on the simple fact that he knows how to cook, at least date him because he's got the cutest hands out there. 
anybody have never a noticed how cool cool are. Are. Next step, I have to pluck some of these guys because that's going to be the finishing touch. I'm going to throw these guys in butter and then uh, get that flavor into the potato. And then this is going to sprinkle on later as like some sort of... Uh, uh, excuse Man, me. Basically, you don't know what the fuck he doing. What yes, the hell I you talking do. about? World yes. famous potatoes. You don't know shit. World yeah, famous steak. World famous potatoes. Trust me. I, I have done this before. Didn't you say it was good last time I made it? Yeah, it was bomb. Fine. What Thank is you. this? What? Okra. What? Joe's, uh, what? What? Joe's making okra. What the hell is this? You never eat okra? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? You've had okra before. You don't get it at Hania? It's so good at Hania. Oh! You grill it and bruh. it gets. You grill it and it gets uh, slimy. Yes! Uh, I don't do remember. I have something going on over there. Oh, you already have a tea? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm doing? Yeah, right. I gave I you kisses. To show you. All right. I'm I want the real thing. Awesome. I want the real thing. It tastes like a bee. Give me the real yeah. thing. Give it a little, a little bit. Oh, foul. It's still pe it's not peeled yet. It's still <laughs> So the potatoes have finished boiling in the chicken broth. The next step is um, I'm going to cut them in half and then I'm going to fry them in some butter, garlic, the one that Nancy helped me do, and then some rosemary. And what that's going to do is uh, when I boil it, it kind of gives it almost this half mashed potato texture so it's soft. But then when I fry it, then it crisps it. So then it'll be crispy on the outside and kind of soft on the inside. What's happening now, Bart? So now it's time to make the garlic butter with the rosemary. And then this is a really interesting stove. If you look at it, I think it's a halogen stove, which I've never used before. You turn it on and it's instant. And then later it starts regulating itself and it turns on and off and on and off, which is crazy. So I'm gonna throw this butter on. Butter makes everything taste delicious. I usually go with unsalted butter so I can control the salting at the end because uh, sometimes you go with the salted butter and you can't really, oh no, there's foil! <laughs> Shit. There. Bam, put that on. Throw it in And uh, come back and why is there an egg residue? There's like egg residue on this thing. That's weird. Let me find something else. Be more responsible. How do you think? Look at Nadine, look what he's doing. What a freaking <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb, dude. B-roll with your forehead. 
What do you know about this vlogging life, Bart? <laughs> Dude, you're almost passed out from getting D.O. Look how red your face is. <laughs> Look how red your body is. What are you talking about? Dude, this is, that's how muscular I am. It's freaking... Oh, it's all blood. It's all blood flow. Yeah, it's all blood flow. See? What do you know about that cardiovascular life? Oh, I don't know anything. Is it burning? No. Are you supposed to do that? I don't know. I, don't I want to lower the heat a little bit. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, lift it up a little. Lift the pan up. There we go. There you go. Mmm, that smells good though. So get a little bit of these guys that I already pre did. Then do a little bit of this action, mix it up. So the rosemary gives it a little like herby kick, balances out the garlic. And then now time to put the potatoes on. Try to put them all, all nice. It's because I really, I really like the fat, flat side on there, because that's the side that crisps really well. We'll move it off. So the bike is too high. Yeah, it's in the bike We'll move it off for now. What are you ooming about? Our food. Is it bomb? That's pretty good. Why are you being humble? Because it's not the correct ingredient, but it still came out really good. Is it better? Ah, uh, it's this is good. Sometimes there's like happy accidents. This is taking too long. I'm gonna just throw this shit in. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't got time for all this. Who's here? Hello, brother. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hello, man. Hey, man. What's up, girl? How are you? Good to see you again. Hello. Oh, this is garbage. Mm. It smells good though. I'm making my They're not salt or anything. It's okay. They're good though. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, man. Don't laugh at me, Sam. <laughs> Sam is a professional cook, so he's gonna laugh at me and say I'm an idiot. Don't hit his roll for potatoes. You only hit it once. It's not long though. Don't Dude, these are world famous. I'm gonna get a raise. <laughs> no. So I just finished the potatoes and they are roasted, crispy. Can you be the taste tester? Yeah. Because you had it last time. See if it was as good as last it time. It looked great. Find something that's kind of small so it, it, cause it might be hot. Do you want a chopstick to the Oh, yeah, you might want a chopstick. Is there any clean ones? Here. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Thank you. You want me to stop putting the plates out here? Yeah. I know. Are we going to do inside or outside? Oh, I would do inside. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. You're combining the magic one. It's hot, huh? Sorry. Goddamn, it's good. Is it? You promise? <clears throat> Yay! Would you say it's a success? Yeah, very successful. Awesome. They're not as crunchy as the last batch. Oh, better put them back on for a little bit more then. Thank you. See? That's why I needed you to be a taste test too. Yeah, you're a little fun. mushy.
Mom, are you in here? Mom, bear? Mom, bear, are you in here? Yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> no, I just wanted to show you. Did you see our family table yet? Yeah, I walked by it and I said this looks gourmet as hell. It looks cool. It looks like uh, like we're having a Thanksgiving dinner. It's so yummy. You don't even like Coke. I know, but 